Hello everybody, I'm just going to make a quick video and show you how to download IPTV Stalker and how to set it up. So first of all you want to open your Kodi and then you want to go to your system then go to file manager, click OK and then you're going to go add a source and we're going to add HTTP um, load slash and it's upgrades upgrades dot Montreal and Android TV dot com click done and then you want to go to give it a name so we're just going to call it upgrades and then Click done. Okay. So now you have it added up there. So now what you want to do is you want to go back. Okay, and then you want to go into settings. Add-ons. Then go down to install from zip file. And then choose upgrades. And now what we want to do, we want to go to IPTV, click OK on that. And from the list, we will go down to IPTV Stalker 1.0.18. Click OK on that. Give it a few seconds to download. Now once that is done, what you need to do is you need to go back. Okay, give it a few seconds, it will give you a message in the bottom down here saying that IPTV Stalker is enabled. Then, so once, see, you got a message right there. So now we are going to go to videos, video add ons, and here's your IPTV Stalker. Now, on your keyboard, you can use the letter C to get to the menu. Okay or with the mouse is you can get that as well and you go to add on settings now here you leave everything as is okay, you leave that you leave the portal okay the url as it is what you want to do is usually the way it comes is you don't have a mac address okay so what you need you need a mac address to make it work now the thing is with IPTV address, it used to be free, but now it's a paid uh, subscription based. So you need to get a Mac. You could always go online and try to find yourself a Mac address, uh, but I'll tell you right now, it will work probably for a week if you're lucky, but it usually works for three days till they find it and then they'll block it and then you'd have to go find another Mac address and so on and so forth. Uh, now the best thing to do is to always go online and buy yourself a Mac address. I'll tell you, a one-year subscription is not that much. Uh, it's pretty good price, uh, and it works perfectly because I have it myself, and I, I paid, the, I bought the subscription, and it works just perfect. Uh, that's if you want to save yourself the hassle of just you know going online every now and then look for Mac address. Just buy one and don't share it. Don't give it to anybody. Uh, keep it to yourself and. Um, you know, start enjoying watching live TV basically, and there's, I'd say, more than 400 channels. Um, and once you do that, so you click on custom MAC address, you highlight that, you put in the, your MAC address. Uh, this number here will not work, I just made these numbers up basically. And then you click on send serial number. Once you do that, you're going to click on OK. Uh, one thing just to let you know. Uh, that if if you want to uh, let's go back to settings right here uh, you could always go to parental and you could always enable a password for the for the um, for the adult channels basically so you could change this password and put your own password if you want now once you enter your uh, your MAC address you open the IPTV, you click on the first one. Now it's always a good idea to uh, clear cache, so you're going to hit the C 
button on your keyboard and you're going to clear cache and I would, I would usually do it twice, uh, twice, three times basically. Um, so once you do that, you click on IPTV and you're going to have different options, video on demand for adults, all information, uh, all these different categories. So if you go to all, it's going to open all the channels for you and then you can basically choose or you can just choose whatever category you want and watch. Now if I try to open it here now, uh, it's going to give me, uh, it's not going to work because my my uh, MAC address is, is just is wrong basically. Uh, so you try that, it's going to give you a work and it's going to give you a message right here, IPTV stalker authorization failed. So that is because my MAC address is not the correct MAC address and to get one you need to basically buy one. I will post uh, a website down on the link below that if you decide you want to try that you can always try it for a month as well uh, see how you like it uh, or you can just buy the whole year. I've tried it myself for a month and I was really happy with it and then I decided to buy the whole year and uh, I'm glad I did because it just saves me the hassle of just having to look online for a Mac address all the time and it's just gonna go down eventually. Well, I hope this video was helpful and uh, thank you very much and enjoy.